Richard Lee Sung passed away on August 16, 2021, two days after his 91st birthday. The El Paso, Texas native was perhaps best known for his various roles on the show MASH. He appeared on the show 11 times, sometimes in speaking parts and a few bit parts. Let's look back at the incredible life and career of Richard Lee Sung. Early Life Richard Lee Sung was born August 15, 1930 in El Paso, Texas. As a child, he and his family moved to Los Angeles where he grew up. Richard was part Chinese and part Mexican. He often joked he didn't know which part it was. He grew up in Chinatown and later proclaimed himself as being the sex symbol of Chinatown, no doubt from the notoriety he gained in the neighborhood. Richard graduated from Belmont High School and joined the U.S. Marine Corps, where he served in the Korean War. Little did he know, a few decades later, he would appear in several episodes of a popular TV show set during the same war. He earned a Purple Heart due to his being a survivor of the Chosen Reservoir battle. He later became known as one of the Chosen Few. After the Korean War ended, he returned to L.A. and began working as a bartender in Chinatown. He became a local celebrity at bars such as Tang's and General Lee's. He adopted the nickname Curly and was a huge hit among the patrons, whom he frequently entertained with his banter and jokes. He soon realized his true talents were in show business. He began performing stand-up at local nightclubs. He also performed stand-up at General Lee's, showing the patrons he could do more than serve them drinks. Before we tell you more about Richard Lee Sung's life and career, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. Richard's Early Show Business Career Richard made an impression with his stand-up performances at General Lee's. The year was 1975, and there was a short profile written about his performances, enough to garner the attention of TV producers. He knew the next step in his career would be to study acting. While juggling bartending and working in a jewelry store, he began honing his acting skills. He studied Shakespeare with Lynn Redgrave and became a member of the popular acting troupe East West Players. He was later cast in a musical called Pacific Overtures. In 1975, he was cast in a variety show called Keep on Truckin'. It featured an ensemble cast and he played a variety of roles. Sadly, this show was short-lived. But this didn't hinder Richard's career. He was soon cast in an episode of MASH, which followed a mobile army surgical hospital during the Korean War. He also managed to land a few bit parts on two episodes of the show Kung Fu. His first TV credit actually goes back to before his stand-up performances at General Lee's. He appeared in a 1965 episode of I Spy called Chrysanthemum. In 1973, he had a bit part in the feature film Lost Horizon. In total, Richard Lee Sung's career spanned almost six decades. He appeared regularly in TV shows, TV movies, and feature films. He played a broad range of characters and remained a popular actor until retiring from acting in 2010. His best memories of acting were whenever he appeared on M.A.S.H. He loved the various characters he played and must have gotten a kick out of acting in a show that took place during a war he fought in. He also had tremendous respect for Alan Alda, who starred in the show and directed several episodes. Richard's TV Career Richard's first TV role was in a 1974 television movie called Judge D and the Monastery Murders. It was set in 7th century China and featured an ensemble of Asian American actors. Richard had a small role as a driver. His first foray into a TV series was on the show Kung Fu, starring David Carradine. He appeared in two episodes called The Devil's Champion and The Thief of Chendo. He managed to regularly secure TV gigs following these appearances. He appeared in the episode The Chinese Connection in the TV series SWAT in 1976. That same year, he appeared as Terukazu in the episode Arnold's Wedding on the show Happy Days. His first major TV role that got him national recognition was Starsky and Hutch. He played Clint Takahashi in the two-part Murder at Sea episodes. This role gave him a chance to show his range and prove he was a serious actor. After securing the role, he was set to have a long-running career in film and TV. He continued to land roles in some of the most popular TV shows of the 70s and 80s. These included roles in shows like The Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew Mysteries, The Incredible Hulk, Fantasy Island, and Archie Bunker's Place. But his best-known TV work was, of course, in M.A.S.H. He appeared in 11 episodes of the show from 1974 to 82. He played a range of different characters, sometimes appearing in speaking parts and sometimes non-speaking parts. He continued to act on TV during the later years of his career. He appeared in the 1984 TV movie The Jerk 2 and also appeared on an episode of The New Leave It to Beaver. His last TV role was in the 1989 TV movie Man Against the Mob, The Chinatown Murders, in which he played Jackie Fong. Richard's Film Career 
While he was perhaps best known for his range of characters on TV, Richard Lee Sung also had a rich film career. His first major film role was as Kung Fat in the 1974 film Dynamite Brothers. This was a fun action film that starred Timothy Brown, Alan Tang, and Aldo Ray. It was released at a time when martial arts films were all the rave in America. It was in the 70s when Bruce Lee began to reach stardom in America and opportunities for Asian American actors were opening up. Richard Lee Sung came in just at the right time. In 1975, he appeared in the comedy western film The Apple Dumpling Gang. He focused mainly on television for the rest of the 70s and didn't return to acting in films until the early 80s. He had a few bit parts in films like Slapstick of Another Kind and Firewalker. He also had bigger roles in films such as Armed Response, In Dangerous Company, and Beverly Hills Brats. Some of his best film work came towards the end of his career. He played the famous Arguing Man in the film Another 48 Hours, starring Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy. He played a restaurant owner in American Me and a villain in Inspector Gadget. His final film role was also his final acting role. He appeared in the 2010 feature film Genghis Khan, The Story of a Lifetime. This film began production in 1992, but took almost two decades to complete and release a final film. Richard Lee Sung retired from acting in the mid-2000s. Richard's Legacy Richard Lee Sung died on August 16, 2021, two days after his 91st birthday. He's remembered by his fans and colleagues for his professionalism and talent. He remains best known for the variety of characters he played on M.A.S.H., but he also had a rich and long-running career in film and TV. He began his career at a time when more opportunities were being created for Asian American actors in film and TV. His contribution shouldn't go unrecognized, as he certainly opened doors for Asian American actors today. Now it's time to hear from you. Which was your favorite Richard Lee Sung character on M.A.S.H.? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.